what is going on my anime and comic book family and if you hear from tiktok instagram or any of my other social media platforms i really do appreciate you but before we get into the video cue the intro What is going on my combo community? Here we're getting ready to talk about can the Saiyan race withstand a full-blown invasion from Viltrum? And just to set some ground rules for this fight, I am talking about the Saiyan race at the time before Frieza invaded. Because of course, after this, when Vegeta was grown, the Saiyan race had already pretty much gone into the extinction. So if you see the video on my TikTok or my Instagram, if you're not following those social media platforms, you're really missing out. I said the Viltrum Empire would definitely be able to destroy planet Vegeta. However, it would be at the cost of heavy casualties on their side. Now, before a bunch of people start to assassinate me in the comment section, let me clarify by saying this. Peak level Saiyans like Goku, Vegeta, and Broly are a hundred times stronger than Viltrumites. And Saiyans are naturally stronger and their peak strength as a race is greater than Viltrumites. But at the time of this battle, we weren't dealing with Saiyans like Goku and Vegeta. Because Saiyan Saga Vegeta was stronger than King Vegeta at this time. To be exact, he was almost two times stronger than him. And Saiyan Saga Vegeta is a multi-planet buster at best. And even though the Viltrumites are a lot scaled down, believe it or not, they do have someone on this level. Thrag is about four times stronger than your average as Vegemite because he was bred to be the strongest and most physical capable of his race. With that being said, three Viltrumites were capable of destroying an entire planet. Omni-Man Mark and Thetis flew through planet Viltrum destroying it. So it's more than safe to say that Thrag is considered a planet buster just because he's so much physically stronger than them by comparison. Also that he's more than capable of being able to take a planet busting attack from King Vegeta. But to be honest, I don't even think this would come down to a one-on-one -on -one fight. When people hear Saiyans, they often think that the entire race are all warriors. And this is however not the case. Saiyans are chosen to be warriors based on their power levels at birth. They're too weak they'll either be chosen to be an engineer or something that's non-warrior related or they'll become an infantry baby like Goku. People get this confused because Vegeta often refers to them as a warrior race. This only means that they hold fighting to its highest regard but that doesn't mean that everyone on the planet is a warrior. And not everyone on the planet is capable of the same type of firepower that King Vegeta is. Having a 10,000 power level at this time in Dragon Ball was extremely rare. Even Bardock, the father of arguably the strongest Saiyan, had a power level that was almost on par with King Vegeta's but it wasn't quite there yet. Because doctors at that time assessed that Bardock's power was approaching 10,000 but it wasn't quite on King Vegeta's level yet. And if he would have lived, he definitely would have surpassed him. Because it was stated during the Saiyan genocide, King Vegeta was the strongest Saiyan at that time. But Viltrumite's system of warrior class is a little bit different. You see, every Viltrumite on Viltrum is a warrior. The whole point of the Viltrumite war in the first place was to be able to weed out the weak and to be able to make the Viltrumite race the strongest in the universe. Because for Viltrumites, fighting is not an option. It is either you're good at fighting or you die. So I would say that the average warrior class for Saiyans and the average warrior class for Viltrumites are probably on the same level. Now, the Saiyan race is divided up into three categories, lower warrior class, mid warrior class, and elite warrior class. Even though this kind of doesn't mean anything because Bardock was a lower level warrior and he was stronger than King Vegeta, but anyway. Let's say for the sake of the argument that each category was divided evenly even though we know this isn't true. Planet Vegeta's population is only 10,000. That means the only real threat to the Vishamites are the elite warrior class of Saiyans and it's only 3,000 strong. There are over 3 billion Viltrumites. They literally outnumber them a million to one. Now, if we were talking about the current Goku, Vegeta, and Broly, it would be totally different, and the odds would be definitely in their favor. But Planet Vegeta just doesn't have the numbers or firepower to be able to hone off an invasion from that scale. It's like the Spartans versus the Persians. Yes, the Spartans were well-trained, bigger, and stronger, but they were just so outnumbered, it didn't make a difference. But look, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you didn't like the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, my anime fans, Family, peace.